match. Kick off their campaign up against the African champions, Senegal. Will they go off to a flyer? Well, I've got an expert standing on the line, and you can tell you all about it. And next. <laughs> Game in another World Cup rivals video today is the turn of the Dutchies. I've got an expert on the line to talk all things orange in a second. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs, they are the patrons. And if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and about it. All things World Cup related, Papa Rovers to Germany at the World Cup related. We've got all here, boys, under one roof. Yeah, of course, can the Dutch get off to a flyer while well, I've got an expert? And of course, he's standing on the line right about now. So I appreciate you giving up a bit of your time to talk all things Dutchness. Tell them a little bit about yourself, what's your name, where you're calling from, and what makes you a Dutchy expert. So, of course, the Dutch kick off their World Cup campaign up against African, cha uh, African champion Senegal. That's going to be a bit of a bit of a cracker. I do have a Dutch expert on the line, and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, expectations for the Orange. Uh, so, before my small YouTube audience, tell them a little bit about yourself, why on earth you're in Holland, and what makes you a, a fo football expert for the Dutch. So, so I'm Alistair, Alistair, I live in Utrecht, Utrecht in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Uh, I've, I've been, been here, here for about eight years now. now. Uh, originally came to play football. Uh, and I'm still here in the Netherlands, uh, working and um, playing very low-level football now. Uh, I've been covering Ader Den Haag and FC Utrecht for the last five years um, for various English uh, magazines and prints. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's about it, really. Perfect. Per Perfect. You've got the pronunciation and everything. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, so the, the Dutch kick off their world campaign in the next few days. What are your hopes uh, for uh, the Dutch and, and their opening match? Uh, do you expect uh, a great uh, start to the campaign? Because they haven't had the best run of luck in World Cups recently. I mean, in, in terms, you say World Cups, uh, this is obviously the first World Cup for the Netherlands since 2014. Um, so the streets around here are starting to be painted orange. Uh, you're seeing orange everywhere around the, the entire country. Uh, the Euro 2020 or 2021, whatever you prefer to call it, was the first major tournament for six years uh, for the country. So it's a big World Cup for us. Um, again, it's it's going to be tough. We got, I'd say we have got a fairly favourable group. Um, I think all three games we should be able to win, especially against Qatar. I'd say Ecuador probably the, the toughest of the of the three, um, simply because I, I know the talent that, that Ecuador have. Uh, but I do see uh, I do see the Netherlands winning all three and, and probably cruising to the quarterfinals. Well, that's you. If you could take the words out of my mouth, of course. So. Uh, what are your expect expectations for the Dutch? Do you think quarterfinals, like you say, or do you think there's even the prospect of uh, something further uh, in the tournament? I think the issue we've got is, um, is you know, it's the first World Cup for eight years. Uh, so, and we have got a favourable group. So the expectation is definitely win the group, go through group B, unless it's, you know, England have a bit of a catastrophic failure and come second. Uh, it should be a fairly straightforward game in the in the second one. We've beaten Wales um, before in, in qualifying, and uh, so it should be a fairly straightforward one. The round, the kind of uh, quarterfinal is the tough one. That has the potential to meet Argentina, um, and that really could be the, the tough one. Um, and obviously, yeah, Argentina being one of the, let's say, the tournament favourites, we'd have to really put on a good performance. Defensively, the Netherlands are very solid. Uh, obviously, you've got De Ligt, De Van Dijk, you've, you know, you've got Timbers, uh, you've got De Frey. Uh, everyone knows about the capability of Denzel Dumfries uh, from the last Euros. The issue they've got is attacking-wise, there's some good, exciting young players. The, the main issue they have, though, is, is the lack of a proper striker. So whilst they have Wout Weghorst, who probably is, you know, could, could do well and on his day could, does score goals, he's probably not the centre-forward that someone like England or you know France have or uh, even even Argentina so yeah well you've uh, you covered quite quite a lot there so speaking of of the dutch talent and and the uh, and the uh, probably the more attacking part of the pitch uh, who is the player that's going to get off off our seats with excitement as uh, as of course the dutch uh, entertain us in this year's world cup so I, I, I say I'm going to go for two players. A starter who I, who I think will probably get people off the seat is Cody Gakpo. Mm. Obviously rumoured to go to Leeds uh, and Southampton uh, in the last summer transfer window. However, he chose to remain at PSV. And there are rumours of a big Man United bid perhaps incoming or even uh, even Barcelona. So he's probably one of them. And the other one is Xavi Simons. Uh, Xavi Simons. He came back from PSG to play for PSV this year. Um, he's Dutch himself, obviously, uh, but he's played in the youth academies of Barcelona and PSG. But to really get his career to a kickstart, he joined PSV in the summer. 
Um, and perhaps Arsenal fans will remember him uh, at the Emirates where he played very, very well. Um, and he's a very, very exciting young talent who I think in the next four or five years, you'll hear more and more about him. Yeah, I've seen him in the headlines already. He's been uh, he's having a, a great season. OK, so you do kick off your campaign against Senegal. What concerns yeah. about them do you have as kickoff looms? I think... I think the uh, the main thing has got to be the kind of availability of Sadio Mane, right? Um, obviously, everyone knows that he picked up the injury just before the World Cup. Uh, whether or not he starts, I think, will be the key to whether or not it'll be a difficult game. Obviously, you know, Koulibaly is a great centre-back and Mendy in goal, although he hasn't played much for Chelsea, is still a solid goalkeeper. Uh, the Netherlands will have to take their chances when, as and when they come. Um, but I think it should be a, f- a fairly straightforward victory for the Netherlands. Um but you never know with World Cup football. You, know, you do never know. OK, let's just say you've been given the keys to the dugout for kickoff for uh, Senegal. Who makes your 11 from goalkeeper all the way through to the striker? Yeah, so, I mean, the Netherlands always play kind of a 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. Um, so a three, sorry, a 3-5-2 or a 5-3-2. Um, so I'd have Bailao in goal. Um, he's picked, so he's the current final goalkeeper. Um, so the big the big shock of the Netherlands really was that Jasper Sielersen wasn't picked for the 26. Um, there were some concerns about his attitude, but he's not been picked. So again, I'd go with Bailao as the goalkeeper. Uh, the centre backs, I'd have Justin Timber, Virgil van Dijk, and Matthias de Ligt. Of course, you know that it depends on his fitness, but he looks like he's coming back to full fitness. Uh, on the wings, you'd have Denzel Dumfries on the right wing back. Um, on the left, you have probably Daly Blind. Um, he's been a He's had a phenomenal season this year um, at his current club, so he's been brilliant. In the middle, and he'll be absolutely key and vital for the Netherlands, is Frankie de Jong. Um, obviously a fantastic player, uh, you know, probably one of the best central midfielders in the world right now. He'll be partnered alongside Dan Gabe Mariners. Mariners. Um, he'll be, those two will be key uh, into, holding the, into holding the game for the Dutch. Just in front of them, you have Cody Gakpo and Bergwijn. Um, just and then in front of them will be the Dutch line himself, Memphis Depay. Wow, yeah, that is a tasty lineup when you when you say say those names out loud. Okay, so there is another match in your group. Of course, it's the opening game, Qatar against Ecuador. What do you want to happen, and what do you think will happen in that game? I mean, preferably, I would like a Qatar win um, because it puts the pressure of us in, in the group somewhat. Uh, I do think Ecuador will probably our biggest challenges, if we're being honest. Um, they are a fantastic team full of talent from right from the, the, the back four up to, up to the strikers. So I'd hope for a Qatar win. But if you ask me to predict, predict I'd probably say a oh, 2-0 Ecuador win. Okay. And of course, uh, the, the game itself, uh, Holland, Netherlands up against uh, Senegal. What do you think the final score will be? Put your put the money where your mouth is. Appreciate your time, of course. Thanks again for stopping by. Uh, and of course, hopefully we'll check in with you uh, periodically as, of course, the Dutch hopefully have a long-winded tournament to, uh, uh, in Qatar and go very, very far uh, in this tournament. Appreciate that, of course. Uh, and again, you guys out there, make sure you smash, smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell. Keep up to date uh, with all of us. Uh, check out the links to, in the old description down there. And of course, look forward to uh, the game itself between African champions, uh, the Senegal, and of course, European heavyweights, the Netherlands. But it's until then, guys, of course, don't forget to check out the link for the watch the watch alongs. Of course, we've got previews, reviews, all that kind of stuff. We've even have a phone in show. You could be on the show with me, talk all things World Cup. That's of course coming at you very, very soon. But until then, guys and girls, we'll see you soon for the next one.